Problem number 63. It's a non-conductive hollow sphere of radius capital R, and it carries a large charge positive capital Q, which is uniformly distributed throughout its surface. There is a small hole in the sphere. A small charge positive little q is initially located at point P, a distance little r from the center of the sphere. What work must be done by an external agent in order to move this charge from here all the way to the center of the sphere? The work done by an external agent is going to be equal to the change in the electric potential energy of this positive little q. And the change in electric potential energy is going to be equal to the charge, little q, multiplied by the electric potential difference that it goes through, the change in the electric potential. And delta, change in, is always final minus initial, so this is the final electric potential minus the initial electric potential. And the electric potential caused by a point charge is equal to kq over little r. And as long as we're outside this sphere, it's going to act like a point charge. We'll talk about going inside it in a little bit, but we're going to start out outside the sphere. We can plug in the equation for electric potential caused by a point charge. It's going to be k times big Q, because that's the charge that we're talking about causing this electric potential, divided by r. Now it's going to be r final minus r initial. Pulling out K capital Q, we then have K little Q times capital Q multiplied by, and R final is capital R, and R initial is little r. So notice this is the work necessary to move positive little Q from point P to the radius, the surface of this sphere. We now need to figure out the work to move it from the surface of the sphere to the center of the sphere. In order to figure out the work to move it from capital R to the center of the sphere, we need to notice that it says the charge is uniformly distributed on its surface. And I've drawn that here, which means it's going to act like a conductor in electrostatic equilibrium, where all the charge is evenly distributed on the surface, and therefore the electric field on the inside is going to be equal to zero. And it takes zero work to move a charge in a location where there's an electric field of zero. So the net work then to move it all the way from P to O is the same as to move it from P to capital R. So this is our correct answer. The correct answer is E.